Like the bottom, like the, like the water, like the right? I'm like a pookie. You, you like, you boil the water and then you inhale <laughs> the steam? Is that how you do it? Yo, what's up, Scream Bake? Justin. Kerry, Kenny. Kenny. So today we have something very special planned. How special? It's mucho special. World War III? I'm just kidding. That's true. So a little backstory is that I never thought this would happen. Me neither. Actually, but, oh, actually, I don't know if you checked on Facebook, but I tagged you in something. Exactly two years ago on this day, we became friends on Facebook. Oh, yeah, damn. And then, and then it linked a picture of us on uh, Zusa Canyon with me and you and Tiffany and uh, hey. Rebecca. And That's dope. Yeah, yeah that's two years ago, man. We never thought we would come to this day and collaborate with another YouTube artist who has 35,000 subscribers. I mean, we think we're nobody, so it's, it's pretty cool to get here today. But yeah, so for all of you guys out there who also think you're nobody, you guys can do something big like us. Keep we are also forward, nobody. Guys. Like TJ Hunt said, keep moving forward. Yeah. We are heading out now to meet We're with cars on board. We made it to the spot, yo. We got the squad. We're just waiting for cars on board now. Alex? Damn, Vincent, you're like, how, how's your new 240, bro? You're like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, you man. know, uh, got the uh, Sylvia front uh, bumper uh -huh. grill, you know. Um, I used to be lower than this. Yeah, and then I'm repping um, Team Scrape and Bake right here. Oh, nice. Huh? Okay. Yeah, nice. You know what it is. Oh, this is my other car right here, too. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I raised the red line to 11,000. Oh. Yeah. The wheels are sticking in. Do you also stop a rotary engine in it? Yeah. <laughs> You guys know this area? A little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if I take Grant, well, where does that pop me out? There's a trapaholic right there walking away in that sus-ass <laughs> meth van. Hey, did we just ate an assist I know, he just asked us where the nearest freeway was, and he just Fucking dipped right after. Shit the so Alex from Cars On Board just got here. He's about to interview the crew, check out all our cars. So, all right. so go ahead, put that in your back pocket. We're here with the guys from uh, Scrape and Bake. And the first person I'm gonna interview. So, um, let's. Who 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 do you want to go next? Um, uh, who, who do you think will be next to um, talk about the car? Uh, maybe the Merce the Mercedes is pretty unique. I would say. Okay, let's check it out. Yep. Hey Ed, Mercedes, you're up next. We are currently behind the scenes with cars on board. He just finished interviewing me. He's about to interview Ed. Nice. His Miata is pretty clean. Got some beefy ass tires. Okay, so how was the mm. interview? Pretty nice. I was pretty nervous. Really? Yeah, it feels it feels crazy being interviewed by like someone that you looked up to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, I never thought I'd be this cool. Ah. Ed's getting interviewed right now. Yeah, Ed's getting interviewed right now. It's crazy. Yeah. Like the interview, bro. I realize I have no mods on my car whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you ask you? Like how <laughs> many? Just kidding. I don't know. It's, it's, it's honestly about the story of your car, if anything. That's true. No one get no one it's all a mess. Look at that, these. Look at these. There's nothing on these. It's all, it's all about personal build, right? Yeah, personal build, that's what it is. Yep. Personalization. Two mods, very personal. I'm just kidding. Is, I'm just kidding. You get into an accident, swap it out for something aftermarket. Oh, nice, nice. Turn, get lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Justin, and we are here with Alex from Cars On Board. Hey, guys, how's it going? So this is his, what, what year's your Miata? It's a 1992 Mazda Miata, um, which is a 1.6 motor, it's not the 1.8. Okay. Uh, when I first bought this, do you want me to describe yeah, what no, I did? Of course, okay. of course. Don't when worry. I first bought this car, I intended to buy it. I intended to buy the car so I could have more content for the channel. And it was going to be more content for the channel, save mileage and wear and tear on my Evo 10 from driving to Burbank every day. And uh, what was this, the third reason? Oh, and I wanted to go road racing. And I used to have one in college. Oh. So I really loved this car a lot. So I decided to get it again. So when I got it, I bought it with 128,000 miles. 
for a hundred, no, a thousand eight hundred. Nice. So I got a really good deal on it. Nice, nice. The nice. only thing that was bad with it was the paint started peeling. But if you look at the car, it's pretty straight. You don't see that many dents. I honestly, it still looks really clean. The paint that doesn't even doesn't make doesn't make a difference. <laughs> <much, man. laughs> But it yeah, looks really clean still. That that's why yeah. I was able to get it for so cheap. Obviously, the wheels were on the car. Um, stock wheels. Yeah, stock. Uh, what are they called? Daisies. 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 Yeah, stock daisies. Uh, stock suspension. It had aftermarket shocks, and then uh, the soft tops new on this. Oh. It was all beat up. It had a hole and everything. Dang, so this, this thing looks crystal clear. Yeah, yeah. Normally they're all yellow and like nasty. Yeah, and they're not that expensive. Like if you have an okay job, you can afford it. Okay. It'll cost you under two hundred dollars to install it it's just a, a really big hassle to install it okay um so we're running uh the wheels that we have on the car we're running i think they're what are they 15 by 8 plus zero and they're the rota grid v's they look um, really aggressive thank you yeah it, it has to it's because they're eight and they're plus zero oh, okay yeah plus zero. and then we're running the the new uh, federal rsr R? R? Oh, okay. And uh, these are like R compound tires. Mm -hmm. And um, I daily drive this car. I drive this car pretty much every day. Sometimes I'll pull out the Evo, but mostly drive this car all the time. And at first I was skeptical to buying grippy tires because on the Evo they probably last honestly like 9,000 miles and those tires are gone. Yeah. Um, because the car's so heavy. Uh -huh. So I realized when you have R compound tires and you have a really light car, they do not wear. Oh, so on these tires, believe it or not, look at all the thread that's on there. They've been to one track of it. Yeah, this and still a good amount of I probably have like 20 or 30,000 miles on them. Wow, that's good. Yeah, so that's that. And what else? Oh, and it has a, the OEM lip on here. I really love that lip. I've oh, always little, wanted the black it. One? Yeah, it's very subtle. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of like that guy that just likes simple. I don't like cars to be too crazy. So I go for that subtle look. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll show you the engine. Nice. The engine's really clean. I always like pride myself to have like clean cars. Mm -hmm. I don't like to have like half-ass stuff. Yep. Even though it's a Miata, I try to keep it as clean as possible. I respect that, I respect that. So I'll buy like little things like floor mats, it's like 60 bucks. And oh, it makes nice. the car look a lot cleaner. What, what kind of floor mats do you get? Uh, the OEM Mazda Ooh, ones, okay. they look pretty clean. Oh, the engine bay is nice. So I keep it pretty clean. Uh, I redid the, the valve cover, cover yeah. Looks good. And, uh, middle, looks good. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I um, power wash the engine bay Ooh. with simple green. And then this Jackson Racing uh, intake came with the car. I never installed that. Okay. And honestly, on the motor, all I've done is I changed the PVC valve. I changed the gasket because the gasket was leaking. I changed the spark plugs to iridiums. Oh, NGK. Yeah, NGK. Because there's like some cheapy, I don't know what spark plugs <laughs> are in there. I think they're like uh -huh. auto lights or something like Damn. that. I changed all the water hoses, uh, the radiator hoses actually. Okay. And people wouldn't know this, but this car has three radiator hoses. Three, um, yeah. Really? On the bottom one, there's an actual metal piece that goes around a, like a like a like a turn. So there's two. Interesting. The hardest uh, maintenance thing I've ever done in my life is changing these stupid hoses. <laughs> I don't know if I got the wrong ones, but I had to cut them and stuff, and it was a uh -huh. hassle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the, the AC didn't work originally, and I got it fixed, so the AC is working on the car now. Nice, nice, um, nice. If you come and check out the interior. The interior is really clean. Oh, uh, I, I try it. to restore it as best as possible. Loving the wheel, man. Thank you, thank you. I'll talk on this side. Okay. So basically, um, this car, I try to go for that OEM look uh, with subtle changes. I actually got this from like Yahoo Auctions in Japan just to test it out. Um, I know I could get them here, but I wanted to see what mm -hmm. shipping cost was for that and see how cheap I could get parts just in I, case I wanted to I saw to that video stuff. too. Thank I you, saw thank that you. video too. So I did that and um, those are the floor mats I'm talking about. They're just regular Miata floor mats, which I think like stuff like that is clean to keep your car clean. I also changed this HVAC plate that I got from Project G. These usually get all nasty and that really bugged me. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I decided to change it. This is only 20 bucks. Oh yeah. What a good deal. Yeah. And if you look at the interior, it's really clean. Other than this, there's a crack right here, but other than that's pretty nice. clean. I'm loving, I'm digging the ice cube. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> nice. Damn. Hey, so Jordan, what have you done to your car? I don't know. 
put stickers? <laughs> I think I have more stickers than horsepower on my car. TVH. Like <laughs> Look, man, you can't be putting that on your camera. Slap my ass, bro. What you talking about, dude? <laughs> Look nah. at that smirk, though. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, what? what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, Thank nice. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. The homie Al <laughs> Alex coming in clutch with that <laughs> water, though. They didn't have them cold, though. Sorry. It's okay. It's all the same. Water's <laughs> life. Thank you. Thank you. Water is life. Nice. I've been watching Cars on Board since before I even started the YouTube channel and uh, it's just a big inspiration to like actually finally collab with someone that I've looked up to, you know? I just want to tell you guys to follow your dreams because I never thought that I would actually be collabing with another big YouTuber and well today we are, you know? So just be confident. I'm, I was really scared but it tr today turned out great and it really made me realize to like take more risks and choices and you guys should too the bottom stay tuned hold up damn what are you guys doing? it's okay <laughs> right, Kevin's the last one being interviewed after that we are gonna head to Mexico to get some exhaust clips featuring Jordan yeah. Are you doing drifty today? No, I'm, no, I'm gonna break <laughs> something. My car is actually running shit right now. What? What's wrong? Your, SR, your SR is leaking boost? <laughs> yeah, leaking boost. Nah, dude, it's my tires. <laughs> your tires are leaking boost? No, <laughs> <laughs> no I don't know. The alignment's oh. messed up. Drift status. <laughs> Fast and Furious scene. All three guys over there. Got all the guys over here. We are about to start the exhaust portion of the film. We got the whole squad here. We got Alex setting up the mic and GoPro. All right, so right now we're gonna we're gonna hook up the suction cup with the GoPro. I forgot one of the mic cables. I was just gonna do one shot and hook up the exhaust, but we're gonna have to do two shots. We're gonna do one shot of the actual exhaust recording, and then one shot of like a nice POV of here or somewhere. Um, so the first one's gonna do it right here. That should stick. Oh, damn, you just what? pump it up? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, something, something on. Yeah. should it be solid? Uh, let me turn this guy on. Right here. Pump it up, pump it up, mm, pump it up good. He's out, dog. Have fun at work. Scrape, make. Hey, cracker good right now. Oh, so guys. Oh shit, there's security there, but he's untucked, so it might not be official. You gotta strap in my backpack. Strap in your back? Damn, strap in the goods. Yeah. Damn, not so, bro. <laughs> Dude, I got so many water bottles from early. Dude, what the f You trash man. I'm just kidding. 240 yeah, money. doesn't really have a spot. <laughs> Mischief in this shit, bro. Damn, auto, auto manual. Bro, you, you know how it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Freaking 
dollar right here. <laughs> it's meant to be. You saw that dollar? Wait, did you really find that? Yeah, I just oh, found it on the looks, floor. It looks like a prostitute dollar, bro. It looks like it's been used. A dollar's a dollar. A dollar's a dollar. True sure that. Oh. <laughs> Just fucking shit on all of us. <laughs> Put me to shame, with, man. with one pull, he shit on all of us. <laughs> you think he's, he came here on purpose? Oh, wait, 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 get him, Ed, get him, Ed. Get him. Like old Asian dad. <laughs> That's legit. <laughs> right there and I just drifted we all right so the day is just about wrapped up now it's like 6 30 something we're all about to head part ways thank you Alex from cars on board for coming out thank you guys for having me I really appreciate it, it was such uh, fun experience filming with you guys yep. I think it's gonna be a good video we'll see what happens yep. after yep. editing yep. Should be good. but no big shout out to Alex for hitting us up to film because he's the man to make things happen subscribe to us subscribe to him I'll link his channel down below Till next time, Scream Bake. Peace out. Peace out. Till next time. Peace out. Everyone's slowly leaving us one by one. <laughs> it's just me and you now, man. It's just me and you. I lasted everyone else, man. Yup. <laughs>